Welcome back to the sweatshop. Today we are working on a 2014 Mazda 3 with a 2 liter Sky Active motor. We're going to be changing spark plugs. Your first step is going to be to remove this engine cover. All you got to do is yank up on it gently. Now before you pull the spark plug coils out, what you want to do is take a blower or some sort of compressed air or a rag or anything that you can to remove some of the debris because you don't want it falling into the valve cover where the spark plug passageway is. So blow it out. Your next step is going to be to remove these 8 millimeter bolts. Now you don't necessarily have to remove the connector. If you do, there is a little bit of a trick to it. What you want to do is stick a flat screwdriver between the connector and the actual coil. You'll depress these two little twig-like things on the connector and then pull this back. And that's how you release the connector. It's a newer one that I haven't seen before. So kind of interesting. Uh, whatever you do, don't mix up the position of the coils by accident because then the car won't run very well or at all. Pull your coils out and set them aside in the fashion of the engine, one through four. That way they go back in the appropriate hole. Now get a 14 mil socket and remove each spark plug. What I like to do is just crack them loose and then you can use your favorite impact driver or air wrench just to run them out because there's a lot of thread. Now, if you're like me and feel that you have given the Snap-on Man too much money over the years, instead of buying the appropriate spark plug socket, you can use just a regular 14 mil. But you won't be able to get those spark plugs out of there. This, my friend, is where one of your other Snap-on tools comes in handy. Get a magnet and pull the spark plugs out. No, I refuse to pay 150 odd dollars for spark plug tool or whatever the hell the cost is now. With your spark plugs out, what you want to do is inspect them for any signs of uneven wear or any signs of damage. These ones actually look in fairly good condition. As you can see, Mazda's 14 to 1 ratio for compression really does burn fuel much better and cleaner. These are nice and clean. They look almost as good as the new ones. Check that out. That's pretty remarkable actually. Now, before putting in your new spark plugs, the most important thing to check is the actual number on the spark plug you're replacing it with. Verify that they are the same. Once you are good in that regard, then check all of your new spark plugs to see whether there is any physical damage. Unfortunately, sometimes they can be dropped. So make sure there's no physical damage and they're good to go in. When you are ready to put them in because you don't have the appropriate spark plug tool like me, what you can do is use your magnet to put it into the hole. What you want to do is slide it in like so, basically tighten it up, and then once it's actually in the hole, you can yank the magnet out. And then repeat the process for the other three. Whatever you do when you are installing them, make sure not to drop it into the hole. You can damage the spark plug like that and cause yourself some headaches. Be gentle with it, lower it into the hole nicely and thread it in. With your spark plugs in the hole, you can go ahead and run them up. Once they bottom out, you can go ahead and actually tighten them up. Make sure to tighten them to the appropriate torque spec. I believe the torque spec is 16 foot-pounds for this thing. We're gonna go ahead and give it 20. And just check it with your torque wrench. Now, you'll have your coils that look like this. You can see there is a little bit of residue on the boot. What you want to do is clean it. It should look something like this without any residue. After you clean it, what it should look like is like that. What you're going to do is take a little bit of dielectric grease and put it around the hole where it enters. That way there's less chance of spark and it won't get stuck. With all your coils clean and ready to go, you can now put them back into the engine. Now you can go ahead and put your connectors back. Be sure not to mix them up. Now put the bolts that retain the coil back, thread them in by hand a bit, and then you can fire them home with your gun. Remember to be easy on them, they're just coil bolts. Then double check the torque with a ratchet. 
Now, before you put the engine cover on, go ahead and start the vehicle up to make sure that it's operating properly with your brand new spark plugs. Fire it up! As you can see, it is running nicely. There's no issues currently, so we're good to go. We can put our engine cover back on and call it a day. Make sure you line the holes up before you bash it on and you can use these two holes as a guide. It should slip into place nice and easily like that and we're now good to go. There you have it boys and girls, that's how you do spark plugs on a 2014 Mazda 3 with a Skyactiv 2 liter motor. If you liked the video, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my new videos. We will see you in the next one. Did I say Trev? That's that. That's that. Stop saying that, Jim. Then check all your new spark plugs to see whether it is and fucked up. Start over, Jim. Now, most importantly, before you put your spark plugs in, you got to compare the numbers. Be sure to check to put that fucking prop rod. No, give me back my socket. 55. I'll rip the plug right out of the head. <laughs> and just check them with, check them. And just check them with the spark plug. Or fuck. What you want to do is clean it. It should look like. That doesn't look so clean on camera, fuck cocksucker. <laughs> Once you have all your coils clean and ready to go in, put them in a hole, man. Ah, that sounds weird. <laughs> Kids are watching. <laughs> Fashion, what the fuck did I just say? Now you can go ahead and connect your coils. Just make sure you put the connectors back with the appropriate coil. God, don't you sound like a retard, Jim. Now put your coil nuts back. Wait, they're not nuts, Jimmy. Then double check the tightness. Tightness. 